Good evening, and welcome to another episode of Q Stead Q. What you gonna do? I don't know, but something's gonna grow. Well, hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Q Stead Q. Well, y'all, it's come to this once again. I've been up all night, and then at six this morning, I said, let me get my butt right on to ER because my legs were just feeling bad. I, uh, I think I was saying that my legs have been feeling tired. It's like every bone in my body just felt real tired as if I had run a marathon and it kept getting worse and worse. Cause remember I was saying, I believe my, that my vitamins have, vitamin levels have tanked. That's exactly what it was on top of a UTI. We won't even go into that TMI information. But anyway, that's what did me in. So I was at the hospital. I, I went at 6, it was about 6.30. They had shift change at 7. And I walked in there and was the only person. I was like, whoa. So I went right to the back and they got started on me with the test and stuff. And I was out of there by 10. Uh, I'm quite sure if he had been able to find my doctor, my doctor probably would have admitted me, but he let me come home since they, you know, the testing revealed what it was, which I already suspected. Cause I told him, test my vitamin levels. If you don't test nothing else, when you do this uh, blood work, I said, because that's what it feels like. Uh, I've never had that happen before. And I'm watering my plants y'all. Now I just watered them yesterday and some of them are dry as a bone. So, but anyway, so uh, he did that and sure enough, that's what the problem was. So, uh, and they had run an IV. Uh, he said just, he said, cause lots of times you get dehydrated, you know, when that happens. And I probably was dehydrated. Uh, although I drink a lot of water and stuff, but you can still get dehydrated. So anyway, he, uh, he did that and, uh, and then sent me on my way. And so I got home and I did take a small nap. And then my sister, well, I had called her to let her know, you know, where I was and everything. And so I called her to let her know, you know, that everything was okay and that I was on my way home. So she was like, listen, we're not fooling around. I will be over there a little bit later to bring you the money to get that those vitamins. And it's a good thing that she did because because she was like, well, how much do they cost? I said, well, the last time that I purchased the vitamins that I use, it was over a year ago because it comes in this big giant bottle. I said, it only cost me $10. So she was like, well, I'll give you 20 just in case. Shoot, them things was over 20. And fortunately, my niece has sent me a, a, a gift card for Mother's Day, which was so nice of her to think of me since I don't have children and, you know, and all that. So anyway, she, uh, I, I ended up using my niece's gift card uh, for the purchase. And then I used the 20 from my sister to get, uh, what did I get? Oh, I went to uh, the store and I ended up getting a few food items and some toilet paper, which I needed. So, so that's what I did. So I just got back about 10 minutes ago and so uh, now I'm getting ready to go to the front. You see the bone meal down there on the floor. I'm getting ready to go to the front because I keep forgetting to fertilize those potatoes. I did the garlic, but I'm gonna hit the garlic again because it's been a month. But uh, I want to uh, really get those potatoes fertilized. So you guys are gonna come along with me. Oh, and the shade cloth. Okay, I'm glad that I, you know, I went to YouTube University, as I always do, and it turned out I pulled up shade cloth and, and how to, you know, put it on and all that, because I was talking about tossing it over the greenhouse. Some people do do that, but no, uh, it was, a video came up from a lady who actually lives in Zone 6, 6B, so she's either in Ohio, Michigan, or Pennsylvania. And so she uh, put shade cloth in her greenhouse, which was similar to mine. It was just a little shorter. And wait a minute, I'm looking at this blue, this blackberry because I, yep, yep, there's a bloom, y'all. 
I got a bloom, I think. It looks like a bloom coming. We'll find out. Yeah, yeah, I see some more. I think it's gonna bloom for me this year, y'all. Okay, let me stop here because I'm getting out of breath. Okay, so anyway, uh, so anyway, she said that the black shade cloth and a few others said the same. Black draws heat. And plus I wasn't looking forward to trying to toss it. I was thinking you had to toss the shade cloth over. Well, this lady, she actually put burlap in her greenhouse and she's in the same same zone as me she hung burlap see the the second pole up there where i have the the sticks she bought burlap and she hung it from the the second pole and she brought it down to the first pole and that's all she did so she only needed like i would say a few feet maybe two feet or if, if that you know and so that's how she did it and she hung it almost like curtains she left her windows bare in fact i'm gonna try to provide the link for you so you can at least see it and see the visual but anyway she said it helped her tremendously and it solved her issue so that's what i'm gonna do so and she was saying that burlap is cheap well of course i went to home depot menards and online with them and they were very expensive the burlap the rolls well, guess what? <laughs> the craft store, Joann's, have burlaps a lot cheaper. So it's only like $4.99. So I'm like, okay, yeah. So that's where she must have gotten hers at the, the uh, fabric store. So that's right where I'm going to be going next Friday to get the burlap. So I'll fight this for another week. And then uh, next Friday, I'll be going to get the burlap, and I'm a burlap it. And she leaves her. She said, I just leave it. She said, and in the, in the wintertime, I just raise it up and wrap it over the pole. And then that next season, she drops it again. So that's what I can do. And actually, she kind of, she, she put some rings through her burlap and hung it. So I may do the same thing because I can hang it on the second rafter like I did that heart. I can hang it. And then... Uh, take the ring and bring it all the way back and just tuck it, you know, on the second side. Actually, you know what? My son comes in through the roof. So I'm probably going to have to hang it from the top rafter, the beam, and then bring it down to the, the second tier at the where the top of the heart is and where the top of the wood is up there. That's all I need. The sides can stay bare. The sun doesn't come through the sides. It comes through the top. So... I'll get that up there, that burlap, uh, natural color. And then, of course, I'm getting my wood. And that'll be it. That will take care of that. And so I don't even need the black uh, shade cloth. I'll keep it, you know, because it's going to come in handy for something else at some point in time later. But anyway, so, uh, yeah, so my sister came and got her plants today, too. And so, and she really liked the greenhouse. I was surprised. She was like, the bench was a good idea. Oh, and this lady in this video, she has a bench in her greenhouse too. I'm like, okay, I bit off of her. I can't say she copied off of me, <laughs> but we came up great minds. I guess think alike because we came up with the same idea for our greenhouses. Hers is all pretty and all the, you know, the flowers and the, uh, uh, vegetables and stuff and then she had a bench right on the side that she sits to meditate and stuff so I'm like okay good but my sister was like oh this is a good idea and she plopped herself right on down she really liked the greenhouse so she's putting hers up today she bought one like you uh, Diane I didn't have the guts to tell her that the first windy day is gonna blow, <laughs> blow away <laughs> she'll find out soon enough but I'm just glad that she got one you know and I think she she might end up getting a bigger one later. But she's in the burbs, so, you know, they got rules and all that. Let me get this bone meal, because I'm sitting up here at 10 minutes, and I done sat here and rambled once again. So let's walk up to the front, y'all. Y'all get to see the potatoes. Let's close up this greenhouse for the night. And it's cool today. We didn't get, well, we did get rain uh, overnight but it didn't rain throughout the day like they said it was supposed to be a washout today but it's cool nice and cool and it's supposed to be cool tomorrow 
And tomorrow is supposed to be fishing day, but nope, tomorrow will be rest day for me. Especially with everything going on. And I'll be fixing the lawnmower. She brought the part and I got my gas. I did find, wait, the top, when I looked at the video, the top was right there. I was I was like, there's the top right there. I'm talking about I can't find the, the gas can top. It was right there, picked up on, on film. Okay, this garlic, since I put that compost in, look at it. It's taking off even more. Got weeds in there too, so I need to weed it out. Yep, but it's doing good with that rain and that compost. So I guess that was good rocky compost because I can see the rocks in it now. And I know I'm making y'all dizzy. <laughs> okay, let's walk to the front, y'all. And I got to get busy over here again. I've neglected it and see the flowers are going to be making their appearance in the next... <clears throat> usually right around Memorial Day. And these flowers are orange and yellow. In fact, I thought I saw a bulb because it comes up, these tall bulbs come up first and then, and then they open up. But they'll be here soon enough. So I wanna have my sides clear before I do that. The tomato that I planted out in the, this keyhole garden uh, is not looking too good. So I'm not gonna worry about it. Look at my grass, y'all. So my neighbor's gonna cut it tomorrow. I told him I got the part. So he's like, I will cut it. So I was like, thank you. And I have a weed whacker coming up, uh, battery powered. I weed whacked the other week, you wouldn't even think. But I did all of this and that mess grew right back. Okay, now look at the flower beds, you guys. My sister gave me pieces of her perennial last year. So they all came back. But my peony, that's, remember I told you I was gonna buy that? Ooh, and look at my core bell. Uh, I told you that I was gonna buy a, 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 a bush, a, I think my sister said buy a wing, wing, it begins with a W. She said buy that and it'll cover that white thing. I was like, well, I stuck a peony in there last year. I was like, but I don't know what it's gonna do. That thing has come up, came up, it almost blocks it already. And I've got blooms. And I bought that peony on clearance for $2.50 last September at Home Depot. They had peonies and they had honeyberries on a clearance rack. But the, the bad part about the honeyberries is that I wasn't able to pair them because they have Mr. and Mrs. So when you pair them together, you have to do one variety versus the other. So, but look at this, y'all, my elderberry. This is the first year it has bloomed. I'm going to get elderberries, y'all. And I ain't done nothing to this plant. I ain't fertilized or nothing. There they are. Now, that's a shock. Look at that. It's full of blooms. So, I'm going to have to get the net out because you know the bird's going to get them. Because I'll, I'm going to let my cousin know because she makes teas and she sells teas. And, she, and I think she likes to do elderberry or she's been wanting to do elderberry. So, I'm going to let her know. Alita, if you're watching this, I'm going to tag you in this video. We got elderberry coming. You, It's free to you because with MS, I cannot eat elderberry. I was told to never consume it. So, and I didn't know that until after I bought the bush. Oh, I know why it bloomed because I bought that second variety of elderberry because it needed to be cross-pollinated. So, it worked. Okay, so here's the garlic up here. It's not quite as profound as the garlic in the back but I'm getting ready to hit it again. But look at the potatoes, y'all. I re-looked at the video. I planted eight potatoes, so let's see how many plants we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, I have nine, 10. Maybe I planted more. Oh, the eight were for the back, the ones I planted in the keyhole garden. Okay, so scratch that, y'all. I think it might've been, I forget how many was in. But I need to heal these already because after I moved that hay and they were able to come on through, you see how tall they are. So I'm going to heal them after I fertilize them. So let's get started. Okay, bone meal. I was told phosphorus. So I'm just throwing it in because we have more rain coming. Uh, I know Thursday because it's going on top of the hay, but it'll, it'll soak on in at some point. 
there's one way over there. There's one there. Okay, I did pretty good. Okay, throw a little more because they love, from what I saw in the video, they love phosphorus. So we'll see if that helps me. I'm just knocking the, the rain to wash most of that off, but I'm just knocking some of that uh, bone meal off of the thing. Oops, and I just stepped on the garlic. Probably killed it. Stand up garlic, I'm sorry. And it's dry with all that rain that been clean. Okay, I'm gonna give them a little more, just a little, since I'm out here. Okay. Alrighty, so that's it. So there's the potatoes, y'all. So here's hoping I'm gonna heal them on tomorrow. Actually, you know what? Let's do that now. Because when I took that uh, hay off of them, I just put it right there. So let's throw it back on there since they're up. Because I don't want them exposed to no sun, animals. And see, just healing them, that's not going to kill them off. I'm gonna spread it out, of course, but. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Now, that'll work. I just don't want them, cause they're growing so tall so quickly. I don't want them to get, uh, you know, hit by the sun. these right here yeah I'm thankful y'all potatoes and elderberries so that's extra stuff I'm getting this year okay so I'm gonna end this because we're at 16 minutes so I'm under my 20 which is good so I'm gonna get off of here get in this house take this vitamin right now and uh oh I couldn't get the DK because the vitamins were so expensive like I said, I paid a lot for those vitamins. So I got the main multivitamin that I needed. And I'll go back and get the DK next week. So that was a little cheaper. And then I looked at the other store and priced them. They were even cheaper still at Myers. So I'm going to go back to Myers to get the DK. It's D2K3. And I read the label. And basically, both vitamins complement each other. So I'm almost certain that it's safe. And the K helps with your heart health and cardiovascular health. So it won't hurt me, but I still have to make, the rule is because they couldn't get in touch with my doctor, they told me to call tomorrow and uh, make an appointment. So he'll be seeing me by Friday <laughs> when I call tomorrow. So anyway, so I'll talk to him about that then. But anyway, I'm going to get off of here and I will talk to you guys later. And may God bless you all. I made a pit stop because of my legs. Yeah, the least little thing wears me out. But once this vitamin is in my system, I can guarantee you uh, by tomorrow, I'll start feeling better for sure. And I'm going to just rest tonight. I didn't do n nothing. The only thing I might do, well, because my neighbor is cutting the lawn, I can sit down and repair the lawn more because that takes no more than, it's just a matter of me taking off the, the gas, taking out the gas line and getting to the jet and, and, and switching it out. Technically it could take me a few minutes to do, but it usually takes me a little bit longer to do it because I'm trying to be careful with it. But, uh, so uh, depending on how I feel, because I can guide my neighbor through it if he wants to fix it, because he did offer to do that. He doesn't know how, but I can easily guide him through it. So I might take him up on that offer tomorrow. But he said, I will get your lawn cut. Don't worry about nothing. He said, and then I'll, you know, he's going to use it to cut his lawn. So that's, that's fair enough for me. And then he'll be bringing back my snowblower, which he hasn't done yet, but I see it over there. So he'll get it over here probably tomorrow when he comes okay you guys so i'm gonna get off of here and you all have a wonderful evening and may god bless you all bye bye